Hello, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be creating this deep burgundy smoky eye for you guys. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then go ahead and keep watching. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with an Ulta Beauty eyeshadow single in Buzzword. And it's kind of like a yellowy light brownish and I'm just gonna apply that like as a transition shade above the crease. Not too dark, just a little bit, maybe a couple swipes. That should be good. Same thing on the other eye. One more time. So not too heavy and dark, just light okay then I'm gonna go in with the Ulta Beauty eyeshadow single and this one is in rustic it's a very deep kind of like reddish almost brick shade and I'm gonna like do in my crease and above into the transition just a little bit here I'm just going very light right now. That's why I'm holding the brush down here. Oh, forgot to mention I'm using a Wet n Wild brush. Same thing on the other eye, just kind of like in the crease and above. Very light. I'm not applying too much and too dark right now. Okay, that should be good for now. Then I'm going to pick up this Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is one of their eyeshadow quads that's a limited edition, one of the newer ones. And this is, it doesn't really say, it's just Bed of Roses. And as you can see, there's like a really deep purpley, dark purple, a dark like burgundy, and then a couple shimmers here. And I'm gonna go in with this like really dark and deep burgundy right here. And I'm just gonna pick up this e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, and I'm gonna use it on the side and I'm just gonna kind of like tap it on the side like this and I'm going to start applying directly to my eyelid just like so slightly moving it around kind of using the edge of the brush to get in my crease and just pack it on It's really funny because in the quad it looks really deep reddish like a burgundy and then when you apply it it is like reddish but it looks kind of like purpley at the same time if you can see that it really does so I'm just gonna keep applying it little by little like that just kind of like patting it on and moving it around little little taps Let's move it around so in a minute I'll go back in in the crease and kind of like clean it up a little bit just kind of trying to get the shade that I really want it to be it's already pretty deep as you can see <laughs> all right so now I'm gonna pick up the same wet and wild brush and I'm just gonna dip it in the same shade sort of work it up into the crease and a little bit above just kind of like blending it a little bit better just little by little 
If you think you need a little more, just a little tiny tap. You don't really need that much, just like a slight little tap in there, not even very hard pressure. And you get a lot of color payoff. And if you do it lightly, you won't have like as much fallout or anything. Just do it in like transitions. Just keep building it up to the shade that you actually want it to be. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm just going to take the C brush one more time and slightly tap it in in the crease and just kind of like carve out a little bit more of the crease and the eyelid slightly. that I can okay then I'll pick up the wet n wild brush and I'll just kind of like blend it as you can see the smoky eye is coming out and it is a very deep red but it's sort of purple at the same time it's kind of cool actually Okay, now I'm just gonna do the same thing on this eye. I'm just gonna tap into that deep color and just start kind of like tapping it on the eyelid area, moving it around into the crease with the brush. It's a little, it looks a little bit patchy at first when you're applying, but I think that's like with any deep shades. I haven't really found many deep shades that kind of don't look like that when you're first applying it. That sort of look kind of like patchy and stuff. You just got to keep working with it and blend them. Like so. It's funny because when you when I'm looking at myself doing this in my mirror, I feel like it looks a lot patchier in person in my mirror than actual on camera. Because then when I look at myself on camera, I'm like, okay, that doesn't really look patchy at all. But when I'm staring at myself right here in the mirror, it really does look patchy. So it's really weird. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild brush add a little product and kind of just start blending it up and around like so a little bit more my hooded eyes are really annoying sometimes As you can see the color doesn't really want to go right here in the corner that well so that's like kind of annoying, but we'll do what we can do. So this is how it looks so far. Really like how it's turning out here. I really was going for that really deep smoky eye look today. I don't know why. I've been loving smoky eyes lately. Totally into the smoky eye. Alright, a little bit more. The wet and wild brush. Very lightly. Just working it up into the crease and slightly above. I think we are done with the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use some highlighter on my brow bone. And I'm gonna, this is the same one I have on today. This is the Wet n Wild. This is the one in I'm So Lit. It's one of their newer uh, loose powders, uh, powder highlighters, not loose powders. Okay, just apply some to my brow bone here.
so. And I'm gonna go ahead with the inner corner as well. It's like super bright. And I'm actually going to be using an Ulta gel eyeliner today in my waterline, my lower waterline. And this one is in blackout. I'm just going to use that in my lower lash line here. Waterline, I mean, whatevs. I, oops, sorry. Okay, now I'm just going to take this e.l.f. This is just an eyeshadow brush, I think it's a small one. And I'm gonna take that same deep shade down here. And I'm just gonna take the tip and kind of like tap it in and go along my lower lash line right here. And like smoke it out a little bit. Same thing with this eye. So this is the final look how the smoky eye came out. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me creating this smoky eye today. Let me know in the comments down below what your go-to smoky eye is. Do you prefer like a classic black smoky eye or what color do you prefer to do your smoky eyes in? And please don't forget to like and subscribe before leaving and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye!